Welcome to Connect Z Tutorials. In this video, we are going to explore how Airtable and Gmail can be integrated. Airtable is a spreadsheet database hybrid. Now the task is how to send emails for new Airtable records. Right now, I am in Connect Z dashboard page. Before going to workflow, we need to authorize the applications. To authorize applications, navigate to apps page. Now search for Airtable. Click on that application. Click on add account. To authorize Airtable under personal access tokens, click on create token. Give the token name. And now add the scope. Now add the base. Then hit on create token. Just copy the token and come back to connect account and now paste and click on S continue. So this is how we need to authorize a table to authorize Gmail. Just uh, search for Gmail. Now click on that application. Click on add account. It is an auth based authorization. So we need to select the particular account. And then hit on continue. This is how we need to authorize Gmail. Click on create connects. It takes to the visual builder. Here we need to build the workflow. First give the workflow name that is a table to Gmail. Now search for a table. Drag on drop a table. Select your particular account. And choose the trigger that is new record. Choose the base. And choose the table. Now choose the column. So to create column and rows, go to your a table account. So it is my a table account. I have already created some rows and columns with data. And again, come back to the connect Z account. Now select the column. And now hit on test and review. Just click on plus icon to get the fields, whatever present in a table column and rows. And now click on fields. Now select the fields. And then hit on OK. So the data is now captured. Now select the text formatter. Compose a message. Just drag and drop text formatter. In define option, select merge text to merge the fields. And now join the fields from a table to text formatter. That is name and now compose a message. Now hit on validate. Is the data sent to text formatter. Now select Gmail to send the email. Drag and drop Gmail. Select your particular account and choose the action that is send email. Choose the content type that is plain text. Now map the fields from 
text format are undateable to Gmail. Mention the subject. And for two field, for body, you need to map from uh, text formatter and then hit on test and review. Is the data sent to Gmail? Go to your Gmail account, refresh. Yes, we received a mail. So this is how we need to integrate a table and Gmail. Again, go back to our can exit account, then hit on publish. Click on OK. So this ends your integration process. To double check whether the workflow is working properly or not, go to your a table account and add another one row. Yes, again, go back to our Gmail account. Then refresh the page. Yes, we received a mail. So by the name William, we received a mail. So this is how we need to integrate a table and Gmail. Thanks for watching the video.